Oh, they've done it again, those clever bastards. The creativity that we've come to expect from the League of Legends design team just doesn't seem to end. They've never before explored the concept of a refined and upper class, somewhat arrogant woman with extreme dueling skill and emphasis on precision. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, d I don't know why that's there. The part of Camille's kit that had most people saying, well, this surely won't be a crap idea, is her hitting for true damage on a low cooldown with almost no effort required. Sorry, do excuse me. You know, that does sound pretty strong just by itself, but it did make me wonder, what if there's another champion in the game that can do that? Oh yeah, yeah there is. On Rek'Sai's release in December 2014, while the community was still reeling in shock that a female champion was added to the game that was not obviously female, she was played top lane quite a lot. I mean, it made sense. She has wave clear, damage sustain, and can roam fairly well. But of course, nobody is allowed to have fun, and Rek'Sai sank into the dark depths of the jungle, and slowly, over time, built more and more tank items. Truly, a fate worse than death. This jungle Rek'Sai is in an okay spot right now, so you might be wondering why, at the beginning of Season 7, did I decide to try out Bruiser Rek'Sai top lane again? The answer is in her E, Furious Bite. A point and click spell that, if you have a full rage bar, deals true damage. Hey, that's a bullshit! Staying in lane and keeping your rage up means you can slap your opponents in the face for a sizable chunk of true damage every 10 seconds or so. Of course, keeping your rage up means you won't be able to stay in burrowed form for very long, as it will start to drop off and heal you, because apparently Rek'Sai's species sustain themselves on pure anger, in much the same way as history teaches. To make up for this lack of healing, we will be taking Warlord's Bloodlust. So <laughs> So how exactly does one go about playing Bite Sai top in-game? The principle here is simple. Dominate everything, like the ferocious Void Queen you've always wanted to be. Make your presence known in lane, and, like my experiences with women, bite your opponents over and over again. This will, in most cases, slowly push them out of lane, as they have to miss creeps or take true damage smack straight to their noggin. To make them lose more, push up the wave, but make sure you can always reach them for a cheeky nibble. And I know what you might be thinking. But if I push to the tower, won't I just get ganked over and over again? Yes, yes you will. Everyone knows that jungle players have a brain roughly on the same level as an angry bull shark. Me see, me kill. However, having several tunnels placed around the lane means you can almost never die to a gank. Yes, I've thought about this. If you do decide to grace your team with your royal presence, either by teleporting or ganking mid, then these tunnels will also let you use your ultimate to get right back up to lane. Now isn't that handy? For what to do later on, it really depends on how well your team is doing. If your team is ahead, then fight with them. If they aren't, then split push. I'm not going to go into split pushing here, but if your team isn't doing anything useful with the pressure, feel free to encourage them in the chat. However, be sure to only write in unintelligible void language to make sure you're in the right mindset. For those of you with problems with chat restrictions, you can also take this technique into ranked. To complement such a manly strategy, we are going for a more duelist type of build with a core of Ravenous Hydra, Black Cleaver, and then either more of Malmortius or Sterix Gage, depending on if you're against mostly magic damage or anything else. After that, it's mostly just defensive items, once again depending on what you're dealing with. For boots, there's nothing groundbreaking here. Mercury Shreds if you can't move, Swiftness if you can't move very fast, and Ninja Tabby if you're against that one type of arsehole that picks auto-attackers top lane. You bad, bad person. <laughs>
Let's go.